Hello, my name is Tawana. I'm clairvoyant. I'm going to be doing a reading for Leo for the next couple of weeks. Let's see what's going on with you guys. And before I start this reading, I just want to show you guys that I do have my, my master deck created. This is my own deck here. Um, if you see anybody else using these cards online, you're going to know these cards came from me. I've been on YouTube since 2007, okay? Um, and I've had three channels, you guys. On my second channel, I was talking about, you know, starting a website. I did start that website, you guys. And I have over 100 products. For those of you that are looking for, say, shea butter, spiritual candles, I have that kind of stuff on my, my website. If you're trying to order these cards, all my information is down below. And just, just text, text me. <clears throat> text me or email me if you're trying to get these cards, you guys. And I ship between three to five business days, you guys. And this is my third channel. A lot of people might be looking for me because I just came back. I haven't been back very long. I used to have a channel called Tawana's Horoscope, Tawana the Clairvoyant. Um, <clears throat> when I deleted my channel, I took a long break. I'm here, and, and I'm about to, you know, do y'all reading? Let's see what Leo got going on. All right, this is good. The Ace of Wands. All right, this is definitely a new start for somebody. This could have something to do with travel. It could have something to do with communication, work, or a person. So let's see. Um, your recent past is talking about how you just, you know, get over a lot of stress, okay? Um, there was a lot of doubt in your mind. Um, there was just a lot of things that wasn't going your way. You were stressing too much. Um, and I also see that you were hanging on to your past a little bit too much as well. Okay, that's probably why you were stressing. All right. Some of you didn't want to end a situation. I definitely see that here in these cards. So let's look at the next cards here for Leo. Around this time, Leo, you, you are very cautious about something right now. You don't want to jump into anything. You're thinking before you act, okay? You're a fire sign. Usually, we just jump into shit. You know, we're all about action, okay? I'm a Sagittarius, okay? So, I know what this is about. Um, I feel like a lot of you are just feeling like something is not working out right. And there's no growth in your situation right now. Some of you, it could be money. But if it's not money, it could be that you just don't have any progress going on in another part of your life, I feel. Some of you, it could be that there there is no income here. Let me see that. All right, now let me focus on what I'm seeing here in the car since I do see earth energy here who's ever thinking about earth signs right now I feel like if this is love it has something to do with a third party situation okay some of y'all might be hanging out with somebody a lot but you know that you have a wife or a husband at home or or you could be doing some cheating or something going on right there's heavy drinking there's there's a lot of stuff going on here with the three of cups in reverse Connected to either a water sign or an earth sign. Okay. Now let's see what else is here. I feel like if you were going through any arguments or there was any competition or any challenges in your life, that's going to disappear. Okay. And I also feel like, you know, in the future, you're definitely going to remove the stress out of your life as well. What I'm seeing right now is that you are holding on to a situation. It has something to do with water energy, okay? You're thinking about this all the time. Some of you may be 
thinking about people that you grew up with or thinking about your past a little bit too much here because I see that Six of Cups on up here. So let me see. What else is going on with Leah? All right, Leo, again, I feel like you're not jumping into anything right now because you are thinking first, all right? Um, and I feel like some, some of these problems that you're having, they're going to go away. I see the stress going away for sure, all right? I see people, you know, connecting with you. You might be, you know, messaging someone or they're messaging you. Um, and I also see a soulmate connection here, okay? This is somebody with water in their chart for sure. Um, let me see what else is showing up. Look here and see where this reading is going. Because I see the conflict might have ended between you and either a fire sign or an air sign. Now, when it comes to your soulmate connection, I feel like <clears throat> there was a lot of spying going on. So either you were spying on your soulmate or they were spying on you. Are leaving a lot of negative messages okay i see that somebody was just really you know hating on your situation completely there could also be outside of hating on your your relationship as well the way i'm looking at this reading right now um someone might be out there traveling too i do see like a new relationship with somebody as well um some of you are just totally afraid to spend okay some of you may need to budget your money around this time as well. I feel like there's no balance in love at this time, okay? Some of you are not getting what you want with the Nine of Cups reverse here. There's no balance anymore, all right? But I want to focus on this soulmate connection because I need to clarify this. Why is this card showing up here, the Two of Cups, all right? So when it comes to your Two of Cups, I feel like some of y'all were de dealing with either water, a water sign, or an air sign, okay? I don't think that person was really nice to you. I feel like that person was, you know, doing everything they could to say something nasty to you, okay? They're just not on your side. Whoever this is, Gemini Aquarian. Um... Or you might have cut them off at some point. I feel like somebody's love was just totally gone. I see somebody very cold-hearted in this situation. Could have been you. Could have been your partner. Some of you also may have some parents that are, you know, not nice around this time as well. It looks like somebody even knows somebody that is, you know, lonely very very lonely and miserable and they don't have anybody in their life and it's just a misery gloves company situation okay could be a friend could be anybody i feel like whoever this is is just you know not happy with themselves so they're going to come in and you know start some drama in your life watch out for that type of stuff because at times i do see you know some stress going away from your mind, but I feel like people may still try to come in and start shit once you stop stressing about something. It's like they're trying to get a reaction out of you to start some shit back up. Okay, Leo? Okay. The Ace of Cups is showing up, okay? This card is all about intuition, okay? Someone may have intuition, you might be psychic or you may be dealing with someone that's psychic. You may call psychics, whatever this is. Okay. Um, I feel like this card talks about a lot of love. Okay. This, this is all about new relationships, pregnancy, marriage. Okay. So let's see what the, the reading is about. That's the overall energy. You're coming out of a place where there was too much conflict. 
too much. This could have been at work, home, wherever. The lava cups. This is you crying over, you know, something that you had going on. All right. And some of you might have, you know, left home, left a marriage, you know, feeling disconnected from a whole situation. What's going to happen is you may go into some type of separation. Some of y'all may be stressing. There might be a lot of conflict. You might be heartbroken. It could be a breakup for somebody out there. Okay, the Three of Swords is showing up here too. Um, the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Someone might be off of work, you know, not doing any work, not even thinking about their skills or anything around this time. Okay, some of y'all saying I don't have a job. Um. And a lot of confusion around your situation, you know, a lot of options with the seven of cups as well. But I feel like you're going to get through this. You're strong enough to get through this. Okay. Remember in the right away, you guys, you are the sun card. Okay. You're strong. The strength card, you know, those are two good cards. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're going to be okay in this situation. And it's all because, you know, you're going to think about something before you react, okay? I feel like whatever you jump into, it will like, some of y'all might put yourself in a, in a negative situation. Some of y'all might have just quit your job because you just couldn't take it. And then you decided you, you couldn't, you know, pay for things anymore. But I feel like if you have a plan, you're going to definitely, you know, Get yourself moving to the next step here, okay? I feel like you have to cut something out because you're already in this for a sports here, okay? You need to cut something out in order to, you know, grow, I feel. I also feel like somebody had some problems with fertility or something. Somebody wanted to have a baby and they couldn't have a baby. You don't feel close to your family, your children, stuff like that around this time as well. Yeah, there's so much confusion. A lot of wishful thinking in your situation. You're getting this card again. This fell on the floor. Leo. And you can watch this for your summer on Rising Venus, you know. going to happen with you is you want to be con connecting with this person here okay whether you're separated from them or you're not okay you could be just thinking about them or they're thinking about you or you could actually just be together you know what i mean i look at this card in different ways with the soulmate connection okay um because this card is all about harmony marriage bonding you know just chilling with your soulmate all right this is all about romance and commitment all right, let's see what the cards are about. But some of y'all was dealing with water. Somebody was really nice to you. Some of you think that this soulmate is not coming back in, but I feel like you're going to end up getting what you want connected to them, okay? Soulmates can definitely be on and off. Soulmates doesn't have to all always be about love. It could be your sister, your brother, your friend, or whoever it is. You know, that's what a soulmate is. Uh, a lot of people get it confused thinking it's just, you know, the love of your life. It's not always just the love of your life. It could be a, it could be a damn cat, your dog, whoever it is. Um. Now I'm looking at your situation, and I feel like you again. It's telling me that you don't want to spend any money around this time, and it's also telling me that you want to find balance in your life again. Even though there's a lot of delays in your situation, you want to find balance. All right. Well, what's not going to go away? is the haters okay somebody is a dirty motherfucker here okay somebody's very devious this is the hater in your life you see this card gossip somebody could be gossiping you know pages or messages or children remember that the arguments is coming in from air air energy is terrible in your reading today okay gemini libra aquarius Okay, someone has that in their chart. And this is you. This is the balance, you know, with, with give and take here. You know, you're being very generous. You're doing the right thing, all right? 
there's going to be people that you're not connecting with. Okay, it could be other fire signs around this time, but you're going to get your happiness. You are, you know, with the Ten of Cups here. You know, you're going to be happy. Leo, Leo. So if you've been waiting around to be happy, I feel like it's going to come in. All right, this could be a relationship. This could be family. You know, coming back together. All right, that's water. Cancer, that's the Scorpio. So I do really feel like if there's a strong connection between you and water energy, you know, it keeps bringing you back together. But at the same time, there's outsiders, or it could be within a relationship too, someone that has air in their chart that's really far. You know, so just watch what's going on around you. And that's all I have for Leo. Have a beautiful day.